Welcome to Delightful and Delicious. If this is your first time here, my name is Stephanie. And on this channel, we make awesome recipes that are totally delicious. If you are a returning subscriber, you know I love the Delightful family and I am so glad that you were back. Today, we're going to be making something that I'm going to confess I've been obsessed with for like the past two years. And that's Nashville hot chicken. But we're gonna make Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. They're super easy, super delicious. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys. So when I make Nashville hot chicken sandwiches or any kind of chicken sandwich, I always like to use chicken breast. Sometimes chicken thighs, but mostly chicken breast. Um, because if you know how to fry them right, then they won't be dry. Now, when it comes to the chicken breast, if you take a look at this one, and I've already you know, prepped these and trimmed them up, you can see that this side is more flat than this side. You don't want that if you're frying chicken because it's gonna fry unevenly and that's how people get dry chicken. So I am just going to pound out all of these chicken breasts and just to get them a little bit more even so that the cooking time on them is all even. Okay, so I have pounded out my chicken and then I like to cut my pieces in half if I'm making chicken sandwiches. Now here I have a bowl of buttermilk and we're going to marinate our chicken in our buttermilk. The reason why we use buttermilk is because buttermilk is slightly acidic, but it will not break down your chicken breast so much that they will turn to mush. They'll be tender and delicious. To my buttermilk, I'm going to add some hot sauce. Please use whatever flavor hot sauce that you like. I'm not gonna get into that whole hot sauce discussion. And I like to add a little bit of pickle juice or the brine from um, your pickle jar. And we are going to take that, we're gonna just stir it up a little bit here. Now we're just gonna add our chicken breast in. I like to let mine sit in my marinade for at least 30 minutes. If it's gonna be for 30 minutes, I just leave it out. Um, so that it gets to room temperature. So when I fry it, it doesn't burn. Um, but you can leave it in there for up to eight hours. Um, some people do it for like 24 hours. I don't like um, to do it for that long, but you absolutely can. All right, now while our chicken is marinating, you wanna go ahead and put together your Nashville hot chicken spice mixture. Now everybody's Nashville hot chicken mixture is a little bit different. This is just how I like to make mine. So let's go ahead and put it together. To our bowl, we're going to add two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of mustard powder, and one teaspoon of cumin. And now we're just gonna mix that well. All right guys, now here are the laws of frying anything, chicken, fish, whatever. Make sure that you have everything set up so that you can just go, go, go in order and get everything in the fryer um, and nothing's gonna burn that way. So first we have our chicken that we marinated for about an hour um, in our buttermilk and then here we have two cups of flour. Now you can do this um, on a plate, in a Tupperware container, however you like to do it. Um, I just like to put it in a bag. We're gonna take about two tablespoons of our seasoning, add them to our flour so we can season our flour. Please make sure you are seasoning your flour. Nobody wants flavorless chicken. And I like to do a couple of pieces at a time. We're going to we're going to mash this to make sure that we get it well coated. Then we're going to take it out. We're going to pop it back in our buttermilk. That's right, we're going to double dip it because this is going to make our chicken extra crispy. And sometimes I use my hand, sometimes I use the tongs. Just go with the flow. You wanna put it in there, make sure you get it well coated. I like to kind of mash that flour down into my chicken. You wanna shake off your excess and then pop it onto um, a cookie sheet with a rack on it. 
All right, now we're gonna get the rest of our chicken in our flour. We're going to double coat it, get them all on the rack, and then we're gonna get started frying. I have my oil um, heating up. It's already up to about 325, which is what I like to um, fry my chicken at. Then I have another pan over here that also has a right wire rack so that when we remove our chicken, we can go straight to the wire rack and put that in the oven for those pieces of chicken to stay warm while we fry our other pieces of chicken. All right guys, now once your uh, temperature is at about 325, you wanna go ahead and put your chicken in. You want to put it in going away from you. And you don't wanna overcrowd your chicken, so I only do two to three pieces at a time. Make sure that you are adjusting the heat on your stove so that your temperature stays consistent and your chicken cooks evenly. All right guys, now our chicken has been cooking for about five minutes each side. Look at how gorgeous that is. Beautiful, perfectly golden brown chicken cooked all the way through. Remember, we're doing this in batches. What I like to do right after I take it out of the oil is sprinkle it with some kosher salt on both sides. Now guys, when we're done frying our chicken, don't throw the oil out yet. We have one more step to go that we're gonna use the oil for. All right, y'all. Now our beautiful chicken is golden brown, juicy, cooked all the way through, absolutely fabulous. Take a listen to this. You hear that crispiness? That's what double dipping your chicken will do. For our hot chicken sauce, we're gonna take two tablespoons of our spice mixture, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and this is gonna balance out the heat, you guys. We're gonna take a half a cup of that hot frying oil that we cooked our chicken in, and we're gonna mix this all up well so we can make sure that we dissolve the sugar. So now we have our lovely chicken. Um, remember when we took it out of the oil, we sprinkled some sea salt over it to add a little bit of salt to it. We're now just going to take that oil that we just made, that spice mix, and we're going to put that all over our chicken baby. You can also use a spoon to just drizzle it over the chicken if you want to. Remember, it's got that yummy brown sugar in it to balance the heat out of all of the cayenne pepper that we have in here. We also marinated our chicken um, with some Tabasco or cayenne pepper sauce. So that added some heat to it. So this baby's gonna have some kick, y'all. Okay, y'all, and then what I like to do is I like to go back into my spice mix, baby, and sprinkle some of that over it. So yes, this is gonna be hot. And if you have somebody who doesn't like it super hot, then you can leave this step out. But I'm like, why eat Nashville hot chicken if you're not gonna be sweating? I'm just saying. Now, I have some buns here that I lightly toasted, and I'm gonna take some more of that oil and just put it on there. And we're gonna take our chicken breast. I'm gonna pop it on there. And one of the lovely things about Nashville hot chicken is they always serve um, delicious sweet pickles um, with it. And of course, we have to take a taste. Oh my God. Man. It's spicy. It's got a good heat to it. We put that brown sugar in it to balance out that heat. So it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. We double dip that chicken in our batter so it's extra crispy. 
Mm. Mm. Now that's how you make a Nashville hot chicken sandwich, y'all. Make sure that you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time we upload a video. Be sure to like this video and share it because sharing is caring. And remember, next time you're in the kitchen, that you are keeping it delightful and delicious. I will see you guys next time. Bye.